Welcome to Jewish LED Learning Every Day for Thursday, March 4th, Adar 20th. You ever hear of a parent scolding a child who does something naughty by saying, I'm going to forgive you because you are a naughty and stubborn child. You're stubbornly naughty. That doesn't make any sense. But that's exactly how Hasidic philosophy translates a verse in the Torah where it says, I have now found favor in your eyes, O Lord. Moses says this to God. Let the Lord go now in our midst because this is a stiff-necked people. The, the conventional translation is that even though we are stiff-necked people, you should go in our midst and forgive us. But the Hasidic translation is because we are a stiff-necked people. That defines us as a people. Isn't that strange? We're defining ourselves by this negative trait. Furthermore, the Talmud says that the Jewish people are defined by their kindness, by their shyness, modesty, by their compassion. How do you reconcile that with saying that we are defined by our stiff-neckedness? And the answer is very simple. Stiff-neckedness is neutral. It's a double-edged sword. It could be negative when it's in the area of doing evil, and it could be the extremely positive trait when we take our kindness uncompromising, our compassion uncompromising, when we dedicate ourselves to doing a mitzvah in spite of all the opposition, of all the attempts to stop us from doing it, and we say, we're going to keep on doing this. One of the last things the Rebbe told us, and he spoke to CNN, when they asked him, what is your message about Mashiach? And the Rebbe said, Mashiach is on his way, and all it will take is one more act of goodness and kindness. And on another occasion, the Rebbe said, what it really will take is t at least 10 stubborn people, stiff-necked people, to say we're not going to let go, and we're going to keep on pushing towards the redemption. So yes, we are a stiff-necked people, and we're very proud of it because it is the power that will bring us Mashiach, will bring us final redemption.